Somebody call Ramon right now. Todos prontos. Só o Porto comeu até o momento. E o Diego não. Todos bebendo ainda. Ó, oh, Nandinha, Nandinha. Primeiro eu tá, né, cara? No segundo, né, cara? Né? Segundo. Esse é o segundo, tá, velho? No primeiro ela já tava grávida do Arthur. Não sabiam não ainda. Sabia. <risos> e agora conseguiu. Vem como patrocinadora, tá vendo muito, né? Diferente. Então as coisas mudaram. Fica melhor, né? Com grandes do lado, grandes né? emoções, mais tranquilidade. Todo mundo no peso, todo mundo já bem, tranquilo. Já vi os atletas hoje, todo mundo bem. Então, tudo sob controle. Pesagem de Classic, de 212 e de mês. Então a gente tem atleta em todas elas. A Alcione já foi ontem. Rayane e Eduardo já foram ontem. Então, hoje já começa. Ontem já começou a aquecer um pouco, mas hoje já o bicho já começa a pegar. Então, os atletas já estão nos ajustes finos, já começa a aparecer quem vai estar bem, quem não vai. Você precisa dar uma olhadinha num braço bem vascularizado, no rosto chupado. Já começa a ver quem está bem e quem não está. Deixa eu ver, mostra aí. Ah, tá lá, ele tá com a bolsa gigante. Mostra aí. Aí, ó. Melhor, especial essa daí. Boa, já. Essa é do Cuts. Ah, é do Cuts. Botou até meu nome. Deixa eu ver, vou vir de costas. Daqui a pouquinho eu ando ali. Aí, aí o bicho, é a terceira. 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 Tem coleção, isso aí Fazendo é. Fazendo coleção. Vamos chegar a pelo menos 20. Tem três, três do Olímpico e uma do Arnold. Ah, tem uma do Arnold também. É verdade. Quem sabe não, tem, não vou ter mais uma ano que vem, né? Próximo Arnold aí. Let's go, everybody. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Let's do it. Hell yeah. This is the year. Yes. Quarter. I would agree. You know, I've had a lot of challenges to overcome over the years, and I've learned a lot from the experience. And this year, we kind of took a step back from the stress and the pressure of it all. And I've been doing it for a decade now. I know what to do, so I just trust in my intuition. Like you said, I had Bradley there, when the baby was for me. And, you know, the focus was on just being present, a good father, a good husband, and bodybuilding was just the fun thing on the side. It all came together, so grateful. Um, we're going to have some of the Brazilian uh, most famous YouTubers ask questions, but before I go, 
I was talking to your manager and I said, it's hard to analyze somebody's impact when they're actually you know, going through their motion. But I believe in about 10, 15 years, we're going to look at Chris Bumstead as the Arnold Schwarzenegger of this time. How do you feel carrying the legacy and expanding the sport and being the most important person in bodybuilding? Oh, Chris. I appreciate you saying that, but I wouldn't say I necessarily feel like that at the moment. I'm just doing something I love. I'm doing it to the best of my ability, you know, and I'm not trying to focus on what I accomplish, but more so how I accomplish and who I am in the process. And just, I'm grateful to be in the position I am. I take it as a privilege and a responsibility to be the best version of myself. You know, I know I have a lot of kids looking up to me, and I'm just trying to hold a good standard for them to look up to. Perfect. Let's get Leandro Austin. These are the guys, the enemies, the Ramon the YouTubers. Enemies. The Ramon YouTubers. I don't know, YouTubers. YouTube's on my side sometimes. Uh, right, Brazil's on my side. Brazil's on your side. Yeah. Leandro, if you want, if you win tomorrow, it's going to be six titles in a row. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to beat your record? Harder to beat my record. I mean, every year is a different challenge. You know, I won last year, but the different shit this year. You got to do it over and over again. I think a champion understands that what I did last year is going to have to win this year. You got to level up every single year. So I get better, it gets harder, and just keep doing more. So. How do you, how do you get motivation to beat year after year? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just love what I do. You know, I'm grateful that I have the privilege to compete in a sport that I love. I'm staying on stage against amazing competitors. Just... Oh, right. I defeat the Shaq <laughs> You know, there's a lot of spots in the front. Not like this. Not like this. It's time, my man. Let's go, let's go. Remember when I left prison? Thank you. Dando do Amapá. Chegou em São Paulo, abriu as costas, já era. Ó, oh, gente, que bolão. Medalha de aquecimento, que sábado vai vir, se Deus quiser, outra medalha. Amém! Deu trabalho esse filho aí? Deu trabalho, mais trabalho que meus filhos, mas vai dar bom. Não só por hoje, mas Trinta e cinco é o número. E agora? Todos os pesos batidos, agora é colocar a galera para comer, já tem gente que sobe amanhã, tem gente que já está comendo. Tem conference das meninas agora, então a gente vai esperar e mandar os atletas para o hotel finalização. Tem gente que ainda treina hoje de leve, mas a maioria agora é só comer e ajuste. Ah, vou procurar saber. Agora o bicho pega. Agora não tem margem para erro mais. Our second competitor is one of the most dangerous second year pros. Really hard because I was doing my prep to Arnold and two weeks before and it stopped my prep to do a surgery. And after that, I got more motivated to my next competition and to work more and to show my best on stage. So I really want to 
get my title again. I respect every kid here, and I know everyone is doing her best. And but I'm I'm really happy to be here again and work for this. And I I, I I'm really happy uh, for what I'm bringing on stage Saturday. So let's see what happens. Isabel, what do you have to do to get past France Yelly on that Olympia stage? You got a lot of second place finishes, but she is in your way. Yeah, the last year was close, just one point. This year, I, I've been working hard to improve my body. I'm very confident because I put more goods, I improve my waist, I changed my routine. So I feel waiting for the time for the fight. With Franciella. Franciella doesn't, doesn't seem like there's uh, like that's gonna happen. Oh, this year, no. I worked a lot and improved. I have the the balance. I my physique is for the wellness category. You need to wait more time. <laughs> no, 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 Franciella. You are the past. I'm the moment. I'm the present. This moment is. You are the future, I am the present. When I stop it, you can win. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Eduardo Bezerra, você teve seis grandes vitórias, foi muito bem no Rising Phoenix. Um, essas atletas estão falando que elas vão terminar em primeira e segunda. Onde você vê terminando a sua colocação? Eu venho trabalhando há 11 meses para esse campeonato, né? me dedicando todos os dias. Estou muito, estou muito feliz de estar aqui com essas grandes atletas né? participando desse grande evento que é o sonho de todos os atletas, representando todo o Brasil e a Integral Médica aqui. É, eu venho trazendo um físico único nunca apresentado em nenhum outro show. Tenho trabalhado duro e tenho certeza que vou estar ali entre top 3. Boys, the Miracle Bell! Alexinski! Tino! Still battling for second. 
I would never be so disrespectful as to say it's not a challenge. You know, being on stage here, period, all of us getting up here is a challenge. Is it a threat? Absolutely not. But it's always a challenge getting up here, being the best, being the best version of myself, and it's an honor to share the stage with all these people. I met Wesley back in 2018, I think, after one of the Olympias, and I remember his kindness and humility then. He's risen a lot in the sport and it hasn't changed since. Same with all the guys that I get to share the stage with up here. We have a lot of fun, you know, we, we give each other some dirty stares every now and then, but we are always hugging when we get off stage and we get some workouts in throughout the year and we enjoy it. So I'm grateful to be competing against these guys and we're just up here having fun. Well, Chris, uh, while you're having fun on the stage this week, man, a lot of speculation out there. The rumor mill is swirling, of course. I pretty thought you were going to make the big, huge announcement just a, just a month ago. And I got to give you credit, man. You just pulled the table cloth right out from all those dishes on the table when you announced it. You had a nice uh, business uh, with uh, Jim Shark that you got involved in, so congratulations for that. But the world was ablaze with thought that if you win this Olympia, that possibly this could be your last Olympia, that you might be moving on, that you would call it a day as the winner, as a six-time champ. You've got a, a brand new family, you've got business ventures. If you win this title this weekend, is that it? It's funny because since, I think 2020, I've been telling people when they ask me how many I got left in me, I've been saying one more. And every single year I've just been focusing on one ahead of me, being the best I can, showing up for one more. You know, I won last year, I got to put in the work to win again this year and into this year. That's all I'm focusing on. You know, every year I've had a challenge and obstacle that's overcome, that I've been able to overcome and it's shown me what I'm capable of. And every year I've gotten better, I continue to get better, I continue to enjoy it. And I don't think much further than the Saturday, to be completely honest. So I'm just enjoying it. I know I got more in me if I want it, but I can make that decision whenever I feel ready. I get it. I like Ramon. He's a great guy. Stop sending me dinosaurs. But you've got a great fan base. You and Urs and Chris, Wesley's the new guy here, have been battling for years. You have yet to get past Chris. What changes do you need to make to get that title from Chris Bumstead? Uh, we're working all, all, all points, you know? But my back, my glutes, my hamstrings, bro, this year, I told you, I told you last year, remember? This year, bro. You. <laughs> Over for you, bro. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't, don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me, bro. First of all, give this guy a big hand. He learned some English. That's amazing. Wow. Thanks so much, bro. I'm trying. Uh, every year I try. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks so much for the this show. This is my bro. Hey, all right, well, Chris, do you hear big dinosaur footprints coming up behind you? Or is the challenge from the new guy? Because these guys you've beaten lots of times with all due respect, right? They've had good competition. But like you said, they were fighting for a second. But Wesley shows something different. He's literally a throwback to the classic age. You get a lot of comparisons, of course, with Arnold and your physique and the way you display your physique with your poses. Is he a bigger threat than anybody else at this time to your title? Like I said before, I truly don't believe anyone is a threat right now. You know, I hear them all saying I'm going to win, but when I look them all in the eye, I don't believe they believe themselves when they say that. So I'm not going to believe for myself. Chris, hang on, hang on, hang on. You don't believe me. You don't even believe me. Believe in your work. I, I have my, my work every day. No? Oh. Chris, is it is it true? Is it true that you've offered, if any of these guys beat you, that you've offered a full Jim Shark contract to whoever can beat you? They can have whatever the hell they want. <laughs> Ramon, I have a question for you. You are a great symbol in Brazil. If you win this thing, you will make history and millions of fans today. Thank you so much for everybody for prayers, pray, pray, right? Praise for me. Uh, thank you, God. Thank you, my my wife is here, my team. Uh, 
we work for this year and God is is have plan for 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 we I love you baby Linda Murray the two guys to your left are for Mr. Olympias why do you deserve to beat them why do you deserve to be Mr. Olympia all right so uh, so we sat all here and we've heard everybody speak about so my, I'm going to weigh this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to prove this and my ass is tight standing here, honestly. <laughs> just tight sitting here. So I want to say this, man. I'm, I've never been a man for talking. It just doesn't work for me. I'm always a man of actions. So I stand up here and I say, man, if any man thinks that he's going to that, step up front with me right now. Don't let it get away. 